हॅलो वेलकम टू द सेशन डेटा स्ट्रक्चर स्टॅक गेट क्वेश्चन्स ॲट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन द स्टुडंट्स विल बी एबल टू सॉल्व डेटा स्ट्रक्चर स्टॅक प्रॉब्लेम्स इनिशियली विल सी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन अँड पॉज द व्हिडिओ अँड ट्राय टू आन्सर इट which of the following permutation can be obtained in the output in the same order using a stack assuming that the input is the sequence 1 2 3 4 5 in that order so we have to find out which permutation is possible using stack and pushing the numbers in order 1 2 3 4 5 but pop in any sequence find out the answer so we'll see the answer here so the restriction is to push the numbers in the sequence so we'll push that number 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 and 5 for this first option we'll check here that is we have pushed 1 then 2 and then 3 then we have popped 3 next we have pushed 4 then we have popped 4 then we have pushed 5 and then we have popped 5 then we need to pop 1 but in the stack we are having 2 so this option is not possible now next for this option we will see again 3 is there we will push 1 then 2 and 3 then we will be popping 3 next we are pushing 4 and popping 4 then next we are pushing 5 and popping 5 and then top of the stack is 2 then we can pop 2 and then lastly we can pop this remaining one so this option is correct we'll go for the next question so here consider the following c program is given in that it is defined end of file as minus 1 so we need to read the program up to the end of file then one function is given void push which will be push the argument on the stack then pop in this pop the top of the stack can be pop next is error the flag is there flag error then the c program is there in this program while c is equal to get char we ha- we are going to get char one by one till end of file and if that character c is digit then we are going to push it push c next if it is not a digit then it will be any sign plus sign or multiplication sign that time we are going to pop top of the stack as m next top of the stack as n then r is equal to whatever we have popped m and n we are using that when plus sign is there n plus m will be there and when otherwise n multiplied by m and whatever the answer resultant answer a r is there that will be pushed on the stack and if nothing is there means addition multiplication or any char digit is not there then it is a will be passing as a error finally when all this done we are popping the stack 
so based on this program a question is given what is the output of the program for following input so what will be the output of the program for this given expression phi u 2 multiplication 3 3 2 plus multiplication and plus and the options are given 15 25 u 30 and 150 now in this case using this program we will try to evaluate this post fix expression so in this case it is written that if the current character is a digit we are pushing on to the stack else if the current character is operator it pops two element and then performs the operation so we'll see the initially the stack is empty then we are having phi u that is a digit so the digit will be if it is digit it will be pushed so phi u is to be pushed on the stack then next is also digit that is also pushed on the stack then we are having the multiplication sign so it pops two elements what we have pushed on the stack that is first phi u and then 2 so n is equal to 2 and m is equal to phi u and multiplication will be 10 and that will be again pushed on the stack so 10 will be on the stack next after that we are having 3 then next value is 3 and then again 2 so all three values will be pushed on the stack next we are having addition sign so addition sign will be here that time top of the stack will be 3 and 2 so addition 3 and 2 will be 5 that will be again pushed on the stack next 5 will be top of the stack and multiplication sign so 5 and before that we are having top of the stack is 3 so 5 and 3 will be 15 again that will be pushed on the stack and finally we are having that addition sign that time we are having top of the stack two numbers 15 and 10 will be add that that will be 25 so the correct answer for this is 25 so one more time i'll show how the stack is operating so first initially we have pushed 5 and then 2 next we have encountered multiplication sign so multiplication sign between 2 and 5 the result will be 10 so that is pushed on the stack after that we are having three values 3 that is pushed on the stack as it is a digit next 3 and then next 2 is pushed on the stack then we have found multi uh, addition sign so top of the stack will be 2 and 3 so 3 plus 2 will be phi u so that will be the top of the stack now next we are having the multiplication sign so top of the stacks are phi u and 3 so multiplication sign it will be given 15 and we are already having 10 so last we are having multiplication uh, addition sign 15 plus 10 is equal to 25 so the answer is 25 here now here one more question try to answer it how many stack will require to implement a queue so here options are given 2 1 3 and 4 queue is a data structure where which number is inserted first that will be deleted first so here 1 2 3 so that insertion is in the sequence 1 2 3 and deletion will be in the same sequence 1 2 3 <laughs> so the basic concept here we will see that how we can implement a q 
q using two stacks. So, when we want to insert only we are pushing in the first stack and when we want to delete we will check if stack S2 is empty or S1 is empty then we can write q is also empty. Otherwise, if we are having some value in the stack then till the stack is going to empty we will pop S1 and then we will push it into the S2. Now, here we can see that this is the Q 1, 2, 3 we are having. So, as here written when we are inserting the value just we have to push. So, we have to first 1 I have pushed 1 to the second push the second third as third. But when if I want to pop it that will be in the reverse order. So, 3 will be come first, 2 and 1. So, that will not be q. So, to implement q using stack, after this stack pushing, when we want to delete, s1 has to push to the s2. Now, what will happen? We will see that this 3 will be pushed into the stack s2, then we will push 2, then we will push 1. Now, next when we are popping S2, so this first will be popped, then 2 and then 3. So, how the Q works in the same way this stack will be work with the help of two stack we are implemented Q. So, here our answer will be two stacks will be required to implement a Q. Thank you.